Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Alvarez is making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step. Chico's coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12 rounder. Chico's crushed by a huge uppercut. And just grabbing on to his opponent. up top with a left. Plus shot by Chico. Halfway through round number one. Good work defensively by Alvarez. Plus, he landed that counter. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Blocks a shot, and then does nicely to work on his own. He comes with the straight right hand. Keep working the jab. Chico's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Will you look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight? Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. 
You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. His hands will drop, then follow with the power shot. Keep this guy off balance with that power shot. Here we go. Round two is underway. And he just holds on there. Alvarez's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Now this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Chico's ripped by an uppercut. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. Alvarez is punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. He gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Come on, get focus. Come on. Halfway through round number two. Good way to protect the midsection. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go out there now. Come on now, let me see What he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Alvarez. Now hugging on the inside. Flush right hand to the head. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Alvarez's punch didn't come close. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. And round number three is underway. Alvarez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Big shot. That is a big, big punch that just put him down. And right now, he's thinking about whether or not he wants to do this as a living. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive <laughs> 
great hook to the head that time. How about that left hand? Showing you some defense there with the block. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Blocks away that headshot. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Big shot, the left crashed home. There it is! Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Some way he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gotta avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. <sighs> Not much action as he just ties up. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breath. Last 10 seconds. And round three comes to an end. You're in control, right? Got that? You're in control. You got more Take your time. I'll do one. Hold it. Come on, boy. Yeah. Okay, now come on. Come on now. You can do this. You can do this. Now I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? And let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart now, champ. Come on now, hands up. Alvarez is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Hook, hook, wide open for the hook. Smashed by an uppercut. Come on, kid. Focus. I need you to focus. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. That tells me he's still a little drunk. Halfway through round number four. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Get Chico's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Focus. Focus. 
Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. By Ricardo Alvarez. Tagged. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's... Bah! Keep working. She goes defense. Is it? Look easy. He's able to block those punches. Stop him, Keep it up. Keep it up. Still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Unable to make an impact there by Chico. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. A clean, crisp right hand by Chico. And round four comes to an end. Chico's ability to get to his opponent worked out well there. He damaged him in that round. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches. Combinations. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Alvarez is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. One of his own, a left hand scores. Nice strike after catching one. Ricardo Alvarez is. Halfway into round number five here. Alvarez is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Chico's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breath. Good block by Chico. Hook, hook, he wide open for the hook. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. And this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. 
his opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. All right? Cut the ring off and move him into the rope. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fights to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Nice block by Chico. Chico's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy. Does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. He's tired! Keep that hand moving! Missed the target with that hook. Block. Chico's showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. Seconds of the sixth round. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was and whoever grabs the last part of the round that's who you remember it's very important in this kind of fight finish up good at the end of the round and with the start of this round the halfway point of this fight and he's holding movements really helping him out avoiding that punch Alvarez is putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher but Teddy he's not landing a lot of these punches and what kind of effect can that have on this fight well he can get frustrated a little bit and hey he might not win the fight he can have that kind of effect is that effective enough
see him holding on. Pace yourself, you're doing good. At the halfway point of round seven. And he ties up on the inside. Alvarez is fighting this fight as if somebody glued the bottom of his shoes to the canvas, Teddy. Somebody should check that right now. If I was in the <laughs> corner, I'd call the referee over and say, hey, can you check that for me? Seconds to go in the seventh. <laughs> and that's the end of round seven. Side to side. Lean to the side. Boom. Listen, when he reaches in, let that right hand go, all right? You gotta stand your ground, champ. Come on now. You gotta take it to him with some big shots without going over the top. I keep telling you to take it to the body first. Even a left hook. Chico's been in control of this fight here in these middle rounds. He's built a slight lead on your scorecard as we start round number eight. But Teddy, we often talk about focus. This is where it comes into play of not just blowing it. No, this is what the old timers used to say when they used to remind you. And they used to say to me sometimes, you know, there's no three, four, five round title fights. They all are long fights. A lot of guys could be a champ if it was only a few fights. You have to keep it up all night. Able to cover up that gut. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Chico's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Alvarez. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. He clinches when he gets to the inside. He gets rid of that body shot. Come on, 
Alvarez is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. <laughs> Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Able to dismiss that body shot. Keep working the body. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Comes right back at him with the left hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Alvarez's right defense is paying off now. He's not go, able to go. land the headshot. <laughs> 90 seconds into the ninth round. Off the mark by Alvarez. Focus, focus. Come on, kid. Blocked there by Chico. Last ten seconds of the ninth round. Nice, nice. Chico's corner right now knows what's going down here. They got a fighter who can win this fight, but they need to urge him to win this fight here in the later stages. I need you to take some risk and hurt this guy. You are not doing enough to win this fight, okay? Let those hands go. Come on, now. Let's get busy in there. You don't need that. I'm gonna throw that away. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. 
Chico's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Alvarez is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Chico's doing it. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why. Because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Alvarez is really doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight keep right moving, now thanks moving. to his head Come on, now. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that... What a great round this has turned oh. into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Joe, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Now he ties up there. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Alvarez. Alvarez is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. go, go. Alvarez is showing that he has an understanding of a balance, about angles, about okay. footwork. What does his okay. opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. Close the jab, carry it away, and you'll catch it, okay? Got that. Oh, he's gonna have to catch him. I'm sure as a trainer, when you get in a spot like this, there's extra emphasis of letting your charge know just what he's capable of pulling off. I look at your scorecard. He's only trailing by a very small margin here in round number 11. Well, the key right now as a trainer, and you just touched on it, you have to remind your charge, your fighter, of why he's doing it. Things that he understood when it was nice and calm, when everything was very understandable, when he told you in the gym, hey, I want to be champion. You got to remind him of that and say, okay, here's your chance. Here's your moment. That hook was well off the mark. Takes one, but gives one. Good work, Ricardo Alvarez. Is Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Halfway through this 11th round. 
Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Chico's thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants him to think. So that's all you need to know, that you can't think that way, especially since that's not his style. Joe, if he was a counterpuncher, it'd be okay. You know, your defense creates offense when you're a counterpuncher. He is not that kind of fighter. He can't win this way. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. seconds of this 11th round. And that's the end of round 11. Chico's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing better. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Focus. Focus. You have to focus. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. for 12 and they're closing in on going the full distance final round <laughs> protecting his head well with his guard Gets rid of that effort. Good job protecting himself. Nothing there on the punch by Chico. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Halfway through this 12th and final round. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Good defensive skill with the block by Alvarez. And he engages in the clinch. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one solid effort. Ricardo Alvarez is working the body. Relax. Come on now. Relax. Deep breathe. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Keep working the body. 
Last 10 seconds of the fight. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. Alvarez's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost a perfect game. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.